What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the Clear Crypto's YouTube channel. My name is Jay Seals and today we're talking about Italy passing a 26% crypto gains tax and really what this means for crypto here in the United States because a lot of bad things have been happening lately in crypto as the government, the United States government here in America, keep trying to move into the space and watching other countries and how they deal with crypto could give us a slight indication on how the United States is going to deal with it. So let's get right into this article. The Italian prime minister, Giorgia Maloney, has orchestrated a new bill seeking taxation on profits from digital assets. Today, Coindesk reported Italy has officially approved the 26% crypto gains tax on profits exceeding 2,000 of their dollars in the new 2023 budget. Moreover, the decision will affect crypto traders in the country while offering incentives for filers declaring crypto for tax purposes. The budget adjustments won parliamentary approval Thursday and will be uh, and will now be a feature of Maloney's 2023 expansionary budget. Moreover, that plan will feature a 21 billion, which is 22.3 billion U.S. in tax breaks for businesses and households facing the energy crisis. Despite the taxation against crypto affecting those earning a profit from the digital asset in the country, the new legal developments are a massive step forward for the country's crypto standing. The 387-page budget defines crypto assets as a digital representation of value or rights, which can be transferred and stored electronically using the, using the technology of distributed ledger or similar technology. Specifically, the 26% tax on crypto gains only applies to trading that exceeds 2,000 euros per tax period. Subsequently, the government is offering an incentive to crypto traders to declare. The bill sets up a substitute income tax for investors that is 14% of the value of assets held as of January 1st, 2023, as opposed to the cost at the time it was purchased. Additionally, Coindesk reports that new rules to declare that losses from crypto investments can be deducted from profits, yet guidance over taxation qualification is still preferred for investors. Conclusively, the document states that crypto assets don't qualify as a fiscal case. So there's a lot to unpack, but pretty much they're going to be taxing crypto gains, just like capital gains tax in the stock market. And it's pretty hefty. I mean, that's like one fourth over 2000. So after you make $2,000, they're taxing 26% of all the rest of those gains for the year. Now it looks like you're also going to be able to deduct some losses. Normally that comes with a monetary value. So like it's up to a certain amount of losses. You can't deduct everything, but if you take, you know, a couple losses here and there strategically, then you can potentially lower that, you know, capital gains tax um, amount, but it's still, I mean, it's still going to be one fourth of whatever you make on your crypto. So, you know, as we know, crypto, you can make a lot of money very, very quickly with crypto. So that's a nice hefty chunk of change that the government's going to be collecting each year off of crypto investors. So it's just going to be really, really interesting to see how all this works. I really like the fact that another country is doing this first, and then we can kind of see how it goes. And then, you know, America will get on board eventually, because at the end of the day, they want their peace and how they get their peace safely is through them taxes. So it's going to be really interesting to see in the future for 2023 and beyond what these governments end up doing and how we have to adjust to them. But that's all I got for this one. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.